my little pod blade. And I'll do these Big little. boy palette. All right, let's open this thing up for the first time. Dude. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at all this gold. So much stuff. So much. I won't lie in this world, man. You need school. What you saw is what you reap. The price of even making it, you know it's not cheap. Never mind the lights, you can sacrifice sleep. Put your best out there, see results in a week. Preach. I don't think they know. This is gonna be fun. I can't wait. Hi guys! Alright, welcome back to another beautiful day in paradise. We have something a little bit uh, special for you guys to watch today. So this is a big palette from Bulk Liquidations and we're going to be unboxing it with you guys. Uh, they came and dropped it off like 30 minutes ago. So we let it stew for a little bit, air off, and now we're going to open it. So we're super excited. Shall we do this? Yes. Alright. I got this blade right here. My little pod blade. And I'll do these Big little, boy palette. Do these edges first right here. This is big dog. And this is big dog, right? Alright, so that's So this was marked as like kitchen appliance and home improvement, but we have no idea what's in it. Hopefully the audio is getting caught. Yeah, it will. But uh, we're going to just open it up. It's basically a mystery. You can kind of see what's in it if you look online. But we like a mystery so we don't really look too much. And yeah, it's funner to open with, you know, not you knowing exactly. fully can't much. really see. You don't know. You, don't, you can't see what's in it online. But you know what kind of stuff is in it. Like this is uh, home and kitchen appliances, right? Is that what... Oh. So, it was open. Pretty much. Yeah, he was sneaking around in it. Because <laughs> he was acting creepy. Oh, here we go. The Boy, guy who dropped it off this time was acting weird. Rip it. It's way dustier than you think. Alright, let's open this thing up. For the first time. Dude. Oh. <laughs> Oh my gosh, look at all this gold, so much stuff. So much. There's like a mini store in this box. Oh man. This thing's huge. There's so much in here. Alright, start start getting it out. Alright, so I'm going to hand this to you. Should I shelf it? You shelf that. So I'm epic, these, these I... epic project 62. There's three of them though, so these will be pretty easy to sell, I think, as a set. Oh, oh, just... For them veggies. What were you calling it? I was calling it a bullet, because that's what it looks like. I mean, that looks unopened, though, dude. Yeah. Looks nice. Uh, kitchen Smith. Personal Blender. 10-piece set. Those are pillowcases, right? No, they're placemats, which isn't really in our vocabulary, but it's in someone's. Oh, man. <laughs> placemats by the wazoo. From the wazoo. Were well, you this? claiming cut these off? Ooh, these are nice. Sunshades? So nice. Might have to keep one of those because there's a bunch of them in here. Look, there's like four more that I can see. Is there an easy eBay or though? Yeah. Summer's sure. coming. Summer is coming. And those are nice to have. Especially if you have leather seats. Dude, they mm -hmm. gave us like 600 but. snow shovels and it's not going to snow here again, ever. It's, it's snowed like two inches all year here. I know. And it's those cool. are impossible to ship. Yeah, that's a little brutal. But they could be sellable on like Facebook maybe though. We have a bunch of hangers, which hangers are always useful for anybody. We have this shelf. That's a Facebook marketplace claim. Because thresholds like... What's this? Oh, you can write stuff on here? Is that it's like, like a chalkboard chalk show. Yeah, that's cool. So we could still do Facebook Marketplace even in the current situation. Alright, so I gotta get... There's so many snow shovels. 
This one's beat up though. A little it's bit. Funny. All right, so we're getting into this. I'm gonna zip off the top pieces here so we can get rid of them. Sammy said there's a lot of dust on them from sitting in a warehouse, which makes sense. Because warehouses get so much dusty really quick, even if it was only there for, you know, a couple weeks. So I'm just gonna zip all these off and then we can get into it easier. So, I'm gonna put these in the recycling out back. Done, and then, I guess just get rid of that too. Bam. Ooh. So that's gone. Done, done, done. And we are gonna show you guys, even if it seems a bit uh, boring, every item in the in the pallet, because we want people to see, you know, what you get when you buy one of these. And the shipping cost, every time I say this, basically kills, kills it, because like, I'd be so stoked right now if I paid the original price for this. But, um, so we paid, what is it? No, not that one. We paid together with shipping $575.41. It was $335 for the items and then the shipping was $223.65, which is just outrageous, but it is what it is. So this one was titled as Kitchens and Appliances Home Improvement. Um, and the retail value was eighteen hundred seventy-five dollars. One hundred and twenty-eight items altogether. All right, All right, guys and gals, let's do this, right? Yeah. So, should we put you on a tripod, maybe? Uh, it's just easier for me to just. Well, now that you don't have the gimbal. Yeah, here, that's what I'm saying. You want me to pull that on your hand. Yeah. Thank you. Come on, little baby. So we got three of these so far. I'm gonna start putting stuff on this table, I guess. This guy's going trash making like hardcore right now. Okay, what do we got? This is really heavy, but it's really nice. Original green pan. So this is like a set of all these. Healthy oh, ceramic right. nonstick, 12 piece. So it has a fry pan, it has one, two, two fry pans, saute pan, a casserole pot, a saucer pan, a saucepan, two saucepans, different sizes, three saucepan. I thought you were pronouncing saucepan as saute because I didn't say it here. <laughs> no, but, I was just uh, reading them out of order. This is really expensive. This is super, I'm super. I'm eBaying nice. this boy. Yeah, this is an eBay, and it is heavy though, but that's an open box eBay. Yeah, open box for sure. But somebody will buy this because like everyone should be, you know, cooking at home right now. That's true, actually. Do you know what I mean? And we can cut the price. From... A lot of people are still eating out, but I mean we've. I mean, we don't really eat out that much anyway. Here, grab we stay this. Stay cooking. Percent. I'm gonna put this. Well, I do. I'm gonna put this. Well, I stay cooking. Just explain why we had to cut, cut the tape and stop filming when we were only like a quarter into the pallet. Um. So there's this like older guy who's driving around in his car. I don't. He's like trash picking and then picking up like wooden stuff and he's blasting his rap music and it's obviously not copyright free so we can't be filming right there because we have the garage door open and we don't want to close the garage door one because the stuff is dusty and it's better lighting when the garage door is open so you guys can see the stuff and then i was about well. to get mad at the guy and what did you say he was like what is, why can't this guy just go away and i was like babe let's just go outside for a second this guy's out here living his best life like let him do his thing and he was singing the music too which is so funny, because it's like radio music, and he's just like singing it. It's just funny. You wouldn't think that he was listening to the music. He's trash he picking to. just just wood, though, dude. Just wood. It's. I guess he's getting like firewood. Which is smart for Frey. Some of it was like. Is he? He's gone now, that. right? Should we go check? All right, guys. He's done jamming out. So, back to business. Let's get these front guys. I think I'm tall enough to get these on, so. All right, what do we have here? 
Well, what does it look like we have in, in this pallet? All right, so we have hangers. 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 More hangers. What else we got in there? Hangers. <laughs> hang loose, hang ten teeth on a fudgy wudgy. Can't reach the other ones, but it's hangers. This is it's getting so right crazy. Now. We're gonna have to shut the garage. <laughs> dude, dude, here, dude. get the hangers over this way. Yeah, let's just get them out of here. Right. Oh. So, All right. So we have one. Here. We watch Two. the audio though. Like. I see it. Two. Three, four. Anybody need hangers? Because I have five. some. If you need some. The problem is buying hangers on, like selling these online. Who's gonna want to ship hangers when you can just go to? No. I guess the, these if, are like. I mean, the, the one flea market. But when is that ever happening? Hopefully one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight things of hangers. Nine. Nine. Ten. Nine. Twelve. <laughs> 50. Oh wait, the whole pallet's hangers. Oh, pallet. no. Should I shut the garage door? No, we're good for right now. So we got more of these sunshades. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, people seven, down eight, in nine, ten sunshades. So yeah, blah people, people that live in tropical like weather where it's sunny all the time and hot would want those. So those are in pretty uh, decent. No, I'd say they're five dollars at the very lightest right, so. each, but probably maybe even more than that. Have to check it out online. So we have sixteen snow shovels. No way. I might just take these to the shed. I can get them. I can get them. Okay, I'm just gonna take them back to the shed, right? Yeah. The big stack. Perfect. All right, steel core. Suncast 18 inch shovel blade D grip handle resin sleeve snow shovel. Main guy that has the most snow shovels in the whole city right now, other than the hardware store. Or the snow shovel plug, so. <laughs> so heavy water, so. <laughs> I know. But dude, like anybody next year that's gonna need one of these, so if we just put them Ooh. on the back burner. So this is where the fun begins, because I like the boxes that are closed like this, because then it's like, I haven't seen Dude, them. why'd they give us salt, dude? That's Ice melt? Saying. It's about to be summer out here. But look at this. These are expensive to buy, though. Pet cool. safe one, though, dude. This from my favorite kid. So these are cool. I don't really know what they are. Yeah, the pet safe one, though, dude, I'll give it to him. I'll give it to him. That's, we should That's nice. One of those. So here's some cool sets. There's two of these. Two things of those. So that's just like for drawers. Those are easy to put on eBay though. Yeah. Cheap to ship too. This is super nice. Might just straight up use this as a baby bed. Who knows? Ice I'm bucket. I'll put this. Nah, we're gonna sell it. Yeah, it's fun to imagine what you could use anything for though. Yeah, because then you know that somebody's gonna buy it. Because if I could find a reason why I should keep this, somebody else will buy it. Yeah. So a bunch of these weird mugs. They're not that weird though. Dude, this is a huge coffee cup. This is what I need though. This was. This was probably like really crazy expensive though. All right, so here's a knob set. Two knob sets. Knobby knobs. Threshold. Satin nickel finish knob set. Two sets of those. Now we might have just shut the garage. Shut the garage, right? Okay. So, look at these. Where are These are like... Should I bring the snow shovels back? Lunch totes. Snow shovels, yeah. To the shed, right? Little lunch totes. So, these are cute. Fit and fresh. Alright. Alright, another stack of... <laughs> snow shovels. Steel core. <laughs> How are they called steel core, dude? They're not even like... Legends back for more. Yeah, he closed his windows there. Uh, this summer, this is just crazy. All right, it's 
pouring outside. I'm gonna do it again. I get you. Huh? Yeah. Down out here. We got to get in here and shut the door. <laughs> All right. It's, it's raining down. so it's full hard. Storm. It's a full storm. Well, it doesn't look that bad, but it's raining hard. Alright, so Turner's cutting the box down because it's way too high for either of us to... So once you start getting into the pallet, if you want to see into it easier, just take a razor blade and cut the box down. We did bunker down into the garage, shut the door, and then we just put this light up just for some extra light so you guys can see better. This is probably good for Facebook Marketplace. Too, what we've been doing is this a little big. I wouldn't say we sold a ton of stuff on Facebook recently, but I always just tell them, like, listen, if you want to buy it, just come pick it up off the porch. You can, you know, pay if you definitely want it now, or come check it out and then pay. You even had somebody, somebody PayPal'd you the money. That's what I'm saying. Like, because I feel All like a lot of people have PayPal, so. Well, I did Facebook pay. I did Venmo, and then I did um, PayPal, the, the most common one that, that even like everyone, older people have. All right, so now we're into it. So this is the same, the ice melt salt. Two of those. Yeah, two of those. This is another knob set. Knobs. Knobs. Knob set. Um, another lunch tote. There's two of those. Well, Fit four, and but fresh. Different styles. That one has lemons on it. The other one just cheetah print. You may see this. Insulated lunch tote. Yeah. So they just have like those containers in there. All right. What is? Should we just? So this looks. This is a. It has a little chip on it, I guess. Oh, wait, no, it doesn't. That's just where the ink broke up. It's a up. serving bowl, so I guess for, like, popcorn and stuff. For Christmas, probably. Yeah. But still. So. I mean, I know people start Christmas shopping literally the day after Christmas for, for the next year. This thing's... So I'm guessing the other ones are the same. Yeah. Salt dispenser. Wow, they really okay, got so those, us with the freaking. We have four of those. So those can you can like sell those together. Right? Although the seasonal stuff is hard to sell now, but it means it wasn't broken either. It was just overstock. This is true. So you don't have to worry about someone being mad that it broke. Alright. Big. I'm going to grab the camera and you can. Giant glass. This is nice. For like laminate or something? Yeah, but uh, it doesn't. The top's breaking off a bit, maybe, right? Yeah, like where's the. Or maybe a few. No. It's broken. Another one of these. These I think will sell. Because they'll yeah. be really easy to ship. Like I could even put one of these in just like a little envelope. Right almost. Like one of these poly bags. Because they're made, you know, they're lunch boxes. They're made to go outside. So it's not going to get ruined in there. One cushion. Which we can used for our room we needed cushions yeah i'm just kind of sad there's not two of these in here but it's fine because that it. could there's the top maybe is it I it looked know. like it was a broken piece like it broke off maybe i don't know nah. it probably goes to it though right no it doesn't it doesn't it's weird right i think that goes to Oh, that, yeah, that goes to this. How's this thing, though? Salt shaker right here, look. 
Oh, it broke off. So it goes to that. Yeah, it's broke. Let's see. Let me just, I'm just going to search this one. This is heavy. Because I'm pretty sure this thing is pretty crazy. So one of these sold two days ago for 75 bucks. Brand new. Same as this. So not bad. 75 bucks just for that item. For this. Probably post that up tonight. What's so this? this is a set. It's definitely like an eBay type set. Yeah, this is nice. Like super, super. Well, I could probably search it right now off that barcode. Here, yeah, put it on. Yeah, Essentials is pretty basic brand. It's Let's like see. Cheap brand. So you can just throw that up. No, no matcher for that one. But it's easy to just search it. It's a nice set for an apartment or if you move into a new house or something, though. Even just for anything, really. Yeah. That goes behind the toilet, huh? We put I put one of these together for a lady one time, remember? I remember, yeah. This is super nice. So nice. Super nice. This will sell. What? 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 Didn't even know there was a Keurig in here. Keurig. Dude. Mm. Yeah. This is my baby. Not to keep, but I'm saying this is... I know this thing sells for a lot. Look at this stream. Keurig life. Hopefully it's not broken. How would you test it? Uh, you'd have to get the the cups. I don't know. It seems like it's brand new, but I don't know. So let's just get a just guesstimate of how much it's worth. If it's broken, obviously it's not worth anything. But I don't. Everything in here seems pretty. Bundle of two sold for ninety. It's around like 50 bucks. I'm seeing ones that are even used. Pre-owned for 52 bucks. Okay. Pre-owned for 70 bucks. The same one. So pre-owned for 70 bucks. Pretty good. Definitely get 70 for this one. That's not bad. I'm kind of stoked about that. I legit, my arms are legit. Not long enough. Uh, well, I already checked this one out. I'll just pull it out of there. Okay. So it says Instant Pot. Not really sure what that means. So we're gonna open it. Right. So this is like, what, a crock pot? Yeah, it's a yeah. cooker. Thing's nice though. This is super nice. I guess. No, we'll leave. We'll keep the box for shipping. But just when you set it down, put it there, and then I'll post it and put it back in the box. You know what I mean? What does this have? Different sections. This is nice. This, one this thing nice. goes hard. That's nice. Should we open these? I feel like this is the same. I think they're the same. Should just see. They might be a different design, though. No, the same. same, same, right? Yeah. And then you got a big doggy. Actually, there's. That's the same. Oh, I would you. Alright. Oh, man, this knife sucks. Alright, whatever this is. What is this? It's an <laughs> ottoman. Don't tell Sammy. We don't, we don't need this ottoman, but I know somebody does. And his name is? And his name is Mr. Crow. Whoa, buddy. Nah, but we should bust it out of here. Do you want me to get it out of there? So I can see what it looks like. It just keeps like slipping with these... Nah, just leave it in there, dude. Because I can breed what it is on the side, I think. Yeah. You don't want to show them. Yeah, I do. Turn it over, then. Quality and design. 
is it coming out? It is? Mm -hmm. So nice. Honestly. Oh, wow. And it opens up. Wow. What's that? A K Mini. Another Keurig, right? Yeah. Sorry. Another Keurig. Hopefully that one's not broken. I don't think either of them are. Little Keurig Mini's kind of cute. <laughs> <laughs> I can get it. Come on. That's nice. This is nice. This is a nice shape. Super nice. One cup. It just does one cup, right? Yeah. That's nice. It is super nice. Fits anywhere it claims. So. So that's it. There's some other candles down there that I didn't show. But, uh. Those will just. That's the palette. I'd say it's pretty, really good. The only thing is the shipping. I keep saying it over and over again. Like if we only paid for this and we could pick it up right near our house, a no brainer. But I still think there's 500 in profit in here. For sure, there definitely is. Cause the Keurigs alone, the pan sets. All that's gonna be our money back and then whatever else. That, cause I feel like, I don't know, maybe not. We just have to look everything up. We just, yeah, the only thing is, too, like, you can't undercut yourself too much. Like, if it sells at this, if it's selling on eBay for the same as it's selling at the store. It's crazy because you can't oversell and you can't undersell yourself. So, like, you can't price it too high and you can't price it too low. It has to be, like, just right in the middle. But a little bit underneath of other selling prices because you want to beat other people's selling prices or that people are just going to buy what's cheaper if it's the same thing for a different price. Yeah. So you figure, yeah, it makes a lot of sense. And also, like, people don't want something too cheap because then they don't think it works. Exactly. Yeah, it gets crazy. But if there was over $1,800 worth of stuff in here, um, you should be able to definitely make back that 1000 if not more. I'm saying 500 profit. And I do think that, like, I mean, there's a ton of other people that, just like us, who only have done you know, a handful of pallets. And it's always something that you can make money off of. In a time like this, a lot of people are buying stuff online because they don't want to go to the store. For us, it's been really hard to source items from yard sales, flea markets, you know, anything like that. It's just even scary kind of to meet up with people and buy stuff, even just one-on-one, -on -one, just because of everything that's going on. So this is a 100% successful way to source. Um, it's just about doing, putting the work in and, and selling and shipping the stuff. That's the only thing. But I think this ottoman, I mean, it's pretty easy to ship. Somebody probably has one posted anyway. It's nice. Yeah, this brand is really popular. So, success. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. You. Alright, so here's how I'm going to do this. Just to give you guys an example of how I would personally post an item on eBay. And I'm not saying that this is the best way. I'm just saying it's the way I'm doing it. So first starting off, if you didn't even want to take it out of the box, scan any barcodes that you can see on the outside. So I did that first. No results. Went into the inside, found another barcode. Scanned that one in the eBay. No results. So now... I'm literally just going to search the exact name. And I already know from the tag that it was $70 at Target when they sold it. So it's going to be a Threshold Fairland Storage Ottoman. I won't abuse you guys by making you watch me type it in, but I'm going to. All right, so I just found it. And one sold yesterday for $60. But they did do free shipping, which I'm not doing that. So I will probably post it for fifty bucks, and you pay this, and they pay the shipping. Because if you ship this to like free shipping within the U.S. and it goes to Hawaii, you're going to end up paying forty dollars. So I don't know. That just doesn't seem worth it to me. If it ships to somewhere in New Jersey, yeah, it, it's not going to be expensive. But like, you never know. That's the problem with doing free shipping. So we'll see.
you can always take a best offer. Sell one like this. Because if you get a sold listings and you find the same item, sell one like this. And just, you know, you can even put in the generic pictures of it, to be honest. So, yeah, let's do it. All right, for the final breakdown, too, I just thought of this because this is kind of how I see it. You're not going to get rich buying one pallet. If you buy a pallet, flip the items, and make, you know, three, four, five hundred dollars profit, sometimes more than that, and you do that consistently, say you get one of these pallets once a week. This is a lot of work. That's what I'm saying. You're not it's not a get rich quick scheme. It's work just like anything else, but it is working from home and you are able to do it from the comfort of your own garage, shed, you know, warehouse, living room if you wanted to. You could I could have we could have converted our spare bedroom into doing this stuff if we didn't have a garage easily. So I'm just saying if you do three, four hundred extra a week and do other eBay sales or and do you know, if you have a part-time job and you do this and make three extra hundred a week, in my opinion, that's, you're killing it. That's a lot of extra income. So no brainer. If you already have a successful eBay business, ours isn't even big. We hardly even have that many items listed and we still sell something like at least once a day. Well, probably not every single day, but we sell stuff almost every day, if not multiple items. But if you have a big successful eBay business and you have the space, why not throw some of these items up on there? It just it makes your your whole uh, store look legit too. Cause like, look at this. These will be the photos. So these are the stock photos I took, the top three, and then that one down there is just the picture from, you know, this box. So I'm just gonna save those. And average sale price is sixty dollars. And there's the shipping. It's already in there. So average sale price with shipping was $61. So I'm just listing it and I have some free listings right here. So free to list. There you go. Maybe next time I don't do that that yet. No thanks, done, up. Now on to the next item. In the description of this palette, it's another good thing about this specific palette. Which we actually didn't know because I, I was just saying, okay, I was came in here to pick out the stuff I'm gonna post on my Macari. And I was like, oh, wait, I can't post that because I don't know if it works. Like, how am I going to figure out if it works? And then he looked it up and realized what it says. Okay, right. for this palette that we bought, new. Never been used, fully functional. Comes in original retail packaging, which may show wear and or contain stickers. May contain items that require relabeling. Shelf pulls. There's a whole different kinds of uh, categories. But this is stuff that supposedly all works. So we're just going off of the fact that that's what it says. Which makes it a lot easier when we are reposting, like posting the stuff because you don't want to have the stress of like sending it out to somebody and being worried that they're going to return it because then it's just like, that just sucks. Yeah. All right, quick story time. I was just going to tell you guys that when we started off doing clean outs and stuff like that, we were primarily doing clean outs. This is unrelated to pallets, but still related to the whole reselling thing. We started out just, you know, doing the jobs for the money we were being paid to do the clean outs. And I was street scrapping at the time, so I would look for items that were metal mostly you know aluminum copper anything like that would just be a plus and i wouldn't really search for items that i could resell until later so i was never really interested in e-commerce ebay amazon any of that stuff selling online for the longest time and then when we eventually made an ebay and then other sites too like sammy does macari pretty much all the time I just realized the magnitude of how much you could actually sell and how much you could actually make doing it, especially if you got the items for cheap or for free. And that led into us eventually getting pallets. But I'm just trying to make a point that if I can do it, if we can do it, and not even really 
going into it with the idea that we were going to sell stuff online, almost anybody can do this. It's pretty straightforward and simple once you get the, you know, your vibe down, once you get the whole routine down of selling stuff online, it's, it's quite easy and it's extremely rewarding because when you sell an item every, almost every single time I, you know, turn to Sammy and I tell Sammy, look, just sold this, just sold that. You get a little jolt of like, um, happiness or whatever it is, adrenaline, I guess. Like, oh, I just made a sale. I just made a sale. So it does become addicting fully. I just wanted to add that, that if you're thinking about getting into this, go for it. No t better time than now. Everybody, not everybody, but a lot of people have more time now to get into something like this than they did before. So if you're sitting at home feeling bored or you don't really have much to do, think about it. It's definitely a viable business venture for almost anybody. And there's no category. There's so many categories of things that you can sell from anything, literally anything. So. I've sold items that I thought were impossible to sell for a decent amount of money. So I'm about to post a couple items that were sitting in here and then get more into the pallet today. Bam! I can't, can you reach these? I'm gonna like a... Uh post all those together the glad not like together but like i'm so glad shot. i'm so glad that those aren't burning in my house it's glade uh. <laughs> oh, should have caught it even lower eh nah because this is a good place to store stuff for the time being while i'm sorting where i need to put it Well, I didn't even take pictures of it, I just took it down. What? I didn't even take pictures of it. Like, didn't find the pricing. So I guess I'm going to just show a little bit of the process here. So she's going to put a few items on Macari, right? Yes. That sell on there pretty good. And it's always good to use different avenues. As we've realized. So I'm the eBay kind of person and she's going Macari. Either one's fine. They both work. The one good thing I would say, was going to say about so far this palette, all the barcodes are totally intact. Um, so here's a piece, here's a liquidation from, let's see, let me see, from a different company. And as you can see, they like cut some of the barcodes off. That one's pretty good actually. But see next to it where it's cut, right here, it was really hard to scan any of them. So, that's not from bulk though, that one. But all the barcodes on these items are all there, no stickers over them. They're all clearly easy to scan on eBay, which to me is a big help. Because if you're only simply searching on eBay for a price, or if you're about to post, Either way, the barcode is very helpful and it cuts down on time. So that's a plus of the bulk pallet. I don't know if they're all like that, but that's a plus, plus, plus.
Okay, something else you gotta look out for on eBay. The similar item listed as this. Somebody calculated the shipping uh, being only 10, uh, that's a lie, seven inches by four by four. When this thing is Seventeen inches by eight and a half by I gotta do the other one, but this the the calculated shipping was way lower than it actually is, so just be careful about that too. That was a really very weird calculation too, because they put the size smaller but the weight more because it was only about fifteen pounds and they said it was eighteen pounds. So I don't know. Maybe the calculation was pretty cor decently correct, I guess, because they just made it more weight, but a smaller size. I don't know. Seems weird. All right, so we got this item as well that just sold literally since I've been making this video. And we got this from our friend Bob Bretz. He sent us a whole box of stuff. Showing support, thank you again. You're the man. But this just sold, I think, I wanna say for 15. Plus shipping. So it's a Snoopy snow cone machine. It's brand new. But I guess some, they want to make that, you know, at their house. Cooped up probably. So it sold for almost the same price as it was at CVS for. Which is kind of crazy. Alright, that's our unboxing video for today. So we're going to keep working on this. But this is what we posted so far. Right here. Um, we yes. did well already. We did do really well. And we do have other unboxing videos like this one and this one. So if you guys want to check them out, we're going to put the links in the description. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed our video. Uh, keep pushing. You. You. Peace. See you guys in the next one. See you guys.